A great day, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes. Today, we're coming to you from the beautiful province of Palawan. And, of course, we're here for the key event. This is Unroot to Paradise. And, uh, true enough, uh, we are going to a place which is almost paradise, El Nido. But coming here, uh, we flew in from Manila to Puerto Princesa City and then all these vehicles uh, were waiting for us at the airport and then we drove to uh, Kia, Puerto Princesa and then from there uh, we drove some more uh, took the national highway and we had lunch at uh, Puerto Beach and uh, from Puerto Beach uh, we had another change of uh, vehicles until we uh, changed to uh, the Kia Karens. It's a beautiful drive uh, along the coastline of uh, Palawan. It took us about uh, four and a half hours to get here and, uh, and it was a pleasant and uh, smooth drive using uh, these vehicles. You have a beautiful lineup of Kia vehicles here on my right is of course the Kia Sorento and then the Sportage, the new Kia Soul, the Karens and the Rio. This is en route to paradise and this reminds us of what Kia did uh, last year when we went to Batanes. Uh, it was called Kia True North and that event in 2013 was unprecedented as Kia brought 14 of their vehicles to that beautiful, another beautiful set of islands up north. But right now we are in Palawan which is just as beautiful. We'll tell you more about this test drive later on in the show. In the meantime, let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. Coming from two consecutive months of selling more than 8,000 units, Toyota Motor Philippines shattered this sales barrier by recording 9,132 units in a single month last May. TMP sales grew by 47% compared to its performance last May 2013, representing continuous high demand for all its models. The BIOS remains the best-selling vehicle in the country with recorded sales of 2,080 units, surpassing last month's 1,982 units. The newly launched mini hatchback Wigo sold 926 units, 18% higher versus the previous month of 634. The Fortuner also registered high sales growth from 1,473 units to 1,721 units sold with an increase of 47% versus the previous month. Also contributing to the growth of this sales milestone are the locally manufactured Innova, the all new Corolla Altis, and the Hilux. On a year-to-date basis, Toyota Motor Philippines registered a growth of 35.4% versus the first five months of last year with accumulated sales of 40,062 units as of May 2014. Filipinas Taj Auto Group, the official distributor of Tata Motors in the country, invited Auto Review to visit their headquarters and showroom along Marcos Highway in Cainta, Rizal. The Indian auto brand, which is the first in the country, aims to create noise in the automotive industry after their launch at the 2014 Manila International Auto Show last April. Tata said to be the maker of the world's cheapest car recently launched four models. The Manza Sedan 1.4 liter manual, the Vista Hatchback 1.4 liter, and two variants of the Xenon pickup truck, a 2.2 liter diesel 4x2 manual, and 2.2 liter diesel 4x4. Filipino Staj Auto Group General Manager Nikki Mariano tells us more about Tata Motors' vision and plans this 2014. Our vision is quite straightforward. We want to offer the Philippine market uh, an affordable, durable vehicle, you know, that every Filipino like us aspire to have and to own. Right now, we're already gearing the launch of our passenger cars 
with diesel engine. I think that's what the market is, you know, clamoring for. We're quite optimistic that the market will accept uh, our Mansa Vista cars with diesel engine, including our new models, the Indigo and Indica. We had a chance to see one of Tata's vehicles, the Xenon pickup truck 2.2 liter diesel 4x4 in action. The company is also set to launch another set of vehicles later this year. Meanwhile, three of their vehicles are available for viewing in their newly opened showrooms in Cainta and in Davao. There are also upcoming showrooms in Quezon City and Cagayan de Oro. I would like to invite all the televiewers of Auto Review to visit our showroom. Uh, it's located in Ortigas Extension, Cainta also here in Marcos Highway and we have one more provincial dealer in Davao. Meantime, Ford Philippines has announced its best ever May sales performance of 1,711 units, rising 39% compared to last year. This boost in sales is driven mostly by the all-new EcoSport, all-new Ranger and the Everest. One of the top-selling nameplates in the Philippines, the Ranger saw sales rise 31% to 586 units last May. Ford's all-new EcoSport continues to attract customers in its second month of deliveries as it sold 452 units, making it one of the up-and-coming SUVs in the country. And so goes our Auto News Update, Auto Review. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. We now bring you the fourth staging of the Isuzu D-MAX 4x4 Drive Series, this time in Cagayan de Oro City. The D-MAX continuously proved its popularity in the country as the off-road activity consistently drew participants in the three previous editions in Pampanga, Cebu, and Bacolod. This year's drive series is yet the biggest mounted by Isuzu Philippines Corporation as it features five locations in key cities 
across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Cagayan de Oro, capital of Misamis Oriental, is also a highly urbanized center of commerce, earning for itself such titles like the Gateway to Northern Mindanao and the City of Golden Friendship. The experience was especially relevant to the local residents, or Cagayanos, who require versatile vehicles like pickup trucks. The area is marked by vast agricultural lands requiring long-distance transport of goods. IPC President Nobuo Izumina noted that Cagayan de Oro has always been included in the event since it began. Every time uh, Cagayan de Oro uh, is including uh, this event uh, because the uh, people here in uh, Cagayan de Oro they are loyal to the, our product because the uh, Isuzu Cagayan de Oro, uh, our dealer, uh, taking care of the customer very carefully. So that's why the, uh, everyone joined the, uh, this event. The popularity of pickup trucks in the region can be seen in the DMAX's leadership among Cagayanos since it is currently enjoying a phenomenal 79% year-to-date growth in sales. The CDO leg of the DMAX 4x4 drive series was held at the city's Pueblo Business Park at the back of SM City. This is actually one of our best destinations. Uh, Cagayan de Oro is one of our biggest market here at besides and Mindanao area. In fact, uh, it's one of our strongest. Uh, this is actually the third time that we're bringing the Isuzu D Max on a 4x4 drive series here in Cagayan de Oro. And we're always happy with the turnout of people all eager and excited to test drive on this uh, man made uh, off road track designed by Mr. B Boy Vargas. As in other stagings, 13 stations marked the course that was designed to demonstrate the capabilities of DMAX's various off-road driving features. The obstacles included 40-degree hill climb done in first gear and in second gear, 40-degree hill climb with a stall midway up, 40-degree descent without braking, lateral climb mount driving over elephant holes, tackling trail ruts, camber right and camber left sides up in 45 degree angles, traversing a roundabout cone, lateral descent ditch crossing, driving over cross axle articulation rails, and going on a steel inclined plane with rollers. The exercises demonstrated the advantages offered by the four-wheel drive vehicles as well as allowed the participants to learn of the special driving skills required when traversing rock terrain. The fifth and final leg of the Isuzu D-Max 4x4 drive series will be held in Davao City. Ultra Review will be back with more exciting features. Stay with us.
This is the Rive and Drive event in Palawan, a one-of-a-kind test drive that promises to bring pure fun for everyone. Colombian Auto Car Corporation President Ginya Domingo welcomed us to the event. Thank you actually for uh, accepting the invitation. I know summer is the busiest time of the year, so actually we had to set and reset schedules, no? Because uh, merong mga instances na nagkakapatong yung mga schedules with our motoring friends. And um, it's quite heartwarming to know that all of those who were invited really made time to join us in this trip. So maraming salamat. First, the entourage flew in from Manila to Puerto Princesa City. From there, we had a brief stop over at Kia Palawan dealership before continuing our 300-kilometer journey towards Paradise. Sir, tell us more about uh, the dealership here in Palawan. Yeah, uh, the dealership here in Palawan is, I can say, the first full dealership of automotive in Palawan, in Puerto Princesa. Although we are here in Palawan, we cannot say that we are on the province, but as you can see, our service shop, we have a complete line, state-of-the-art equipment to cater the needs of Kia cars. Together with Kia executives and staff, we were divided into 10 groups of 3 to 4 on board 10 Kia vehicle models. Our destination, the El Nido Paradise Cove Resort, nestled in one of Palawan's well-known beach towns. During the trip, the organizers planned car switches as well as driver changes to make sure all participants get to feel, either by being a driver or passenger, all of the five car models available. We're at day one, so uh, we have 25 media people trying to drive uh, five variants of uh, Kia cars. We have the Soul, the new Soul, the Sportage, the Sorento, the Carens, and the Rio. So we will try to let everyone drive and or ride in each uh, model by the time we finish this three-day journey. So we plan to be in El Nido by sunset and enjoy that beautiful view. Then tomorrow will be all water activities, island hopping, etc. And day three, we go back to Puerto Princesa and fly home. About 60 kilometers into the trip, we had lunch at Puerto Beach Resort. Then we headed to the miles and miles of Palawan's smooth asphalt roads. Here it was simply paradise, hectares and hectares of fresh green foliage together with a long series of zigzag roads greeted us along the way. Of course, there was no sign of the traffic that we see in Metro Manila. No highly populated town arteries, no traffic officers and pedestrians. However, not all roads are smooth before reaching Kuta in Taitai, Palawan. Rough terrain eventually marred our seemingly picture-perfect paradise. Heavy rains soon followed suit, but that was part of the test drive as we had reliable cars that all the while kept us safe and sound. Next week, we bring you more of the Kia Ride and Drive en route to Paradise in Palawan. Here, the participants were able to ride and drive the all-new Corolla Altis, the Bios, Yaris, and Wigo.
Right, we're driving the Toyota Wigo right here at Brockai Fairways and the Blue Water. Yeah. Right, the Wigo, of course, and it's anyways, a uh, small yet yeah, 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 spacious yeah, yeah. car inside. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, earlier there were five of us inside and we were still talking. Right now wow. we are four. And uh, of course, uh, we look forward to uh, driving this uh, maybe in Manila so we get tested. Mm -hmm in the urban traffic. But right now, the Wigo is uh, very good right here. We uh, get a good time driving the cars. All of them are performing very well. They're very, very good cars. Uh, the cars though, um, when I entered the Wigo my first time today, I didn't think it was that spacious. I was surprised. I thought it was uh, smaller than that. I know it's the, the biggest in its class, but I didn't think it was that big, the, the, the legroom at the back. Very maneuverable, very nimble. Uh, the Altis, I love the Altis. Uh, it's always a reliable vehicle. Um, and the, the Vios, very smooth. The, the, one of the things that we were talking about, the, the, the way the transmission, very smooth. And the braking is, is great. I, I can't wait to try the other cars because I only tried them for a short time, but so far so good. I got to drive two cars. I got to drive the uh, the new Vios and the new Altus as well. While um, my other teammates were able to to, to drive the new Yaris, um, I rode in the back, and uh, again it was a revelation because uh, the the Yaris looks very compact from from the outside. But the when, once you're in the back seat, it, it's just it's it's it, it's cavernous. There's there's so there's just so much leg room that even if you stretch your legs out. With the, with, the, with the driver in place. The fun, fellowship, and free-flowing food and drinks did not stop at sundown. Toyota also flew in Noel Cabango, Isa Siguera, Barbie Almaviz, and Nyoi Volante for the evening entertainment. The winners for Road Trek 10 challenges were announced over dinner on day two. The team led by STB's Butch Gamboa back to the overall championship. <laughs> Meantime, Auto Review was one of the winners in the photo contest. This year's road track was uh, definitely on a new level, no? Uh, Toyota took us to so many more places and through so many more challenges than, than before. Definitely exciting, as always. Uh, great cars, great company, uh, great challenges. It's all, it's all in good fun. Road track 10 so far is my third technically and it just gets better and better all the time. Thank you very much to Toyota. Very successful event. On day three, Toyota recognized motoring journalists who made past road tracks extra memorable, just like a Hall of Fame award. Another one of our teammates, Al Mendoza, won the Life of the Party award. And yours truly won the Never Stops Believing award, or the most determined participant. Hi, you are the Don't, you are the don't Stop Believing award. <laughs> if you should not stop believing. Stop it. You know, because uh, every road trek is an exciting event and uh, it's always nice to be uh, competitive. And uh, even if uh, you're about to lose, you still feel that uh, just surviving the road trek is uh, victory enough. <laughs> we just wrapped up uh, the road, road trek 10 with uh, Toyota. No? Uh, time uh, flies so fast, you wouldn't know that it's the 10th year already. And uh, every year has become so memorable no? with me being part of uh, this road trek. And for my efforts, I was awarded by Toyota the Road Trek Warrior Award. I would like to thank uh, Sugata san, uh, Boss Danny Isla, the TMP team. No? Sheila Jade, Miko, the rest, Yula. Thank you guys for this award. And I'm looking forward to 10 more. 
and I'm sure I'll be there for the 20th road trip. <laughs> I would like to thank many people who are supporting Toyota and giving very honest opinions to Toyota products and enjoy the camaraderie with us. Let's know more about Kia. One of the three new teams in the PBA, Kia is still forming a lineup in the PBA's 40th season set to unfold in October. With its application to join the PBA already approved, the next order of business for Kia is to come up with a name for its team. This time, the company turns to its fans to help them choose a moniker for the newly formed team through a contest. Colombian Auto Car Corporation President Ginia Domingo stressed that joining the PBA is part of the brand's strategy to use sports as a marketing vehicle, just as Kia has done with the World Cup Football, NBA, and Australian Open Tennis. We get a good name from the contest that we are having now, the Choose the Name, Win the Game. We will announce team name by August and then after the dispersal draft and then the rookie draft, we'll have a team in time for our Philippine International Motor Show in September. And that's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed it. We would like to thank Colombian Auto Car Corporation, distributors of Kia vehicles in the country, for inviting us to their event called Unroute to Paradise, a media ride and drive in Palawan. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week.